Okay, hello, 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 everybody. Um, this is Aqua Noel. I'm back, and I am going to do um two episodes of Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. Um, I'm trying to get a schedule together to make sure that I put more content out in a timely manner. The first video I put out was like two weeks ago. The second video, probably about that same amount of time. I'm trying to make sure that I put out videos during the week. So I'm probably going to have to come up with a schedule. But um, the reason why the first two videos were spaced out because I had a really bad sinus infection. And um, after that, I just was not feeling too well after I did the second video. So um, I was just trying to, you know, nurse my body back to health. And um, life gets really busy <laughs> for me sometimes. And when I get home, I teach first grade. So when I get home, sometimes I am depleted. Like I have no energy for anything. And I'm trying to figure out a way to get my energy back up so that I can actually do workouts when I get home and videos and cook and whatever else miscellaneous things besides those things that I named for um, to get those things done, basically. But without further ado, we're going to jump into episode three. Like I said, I'm going to do episodes three and four this uh, video. The next video will probably be four and five. And then um, I think it's only six episodes. Let me check my notes. No, it's eight episodes. So what I am probably going to do is do two episodes per video. That's what I'm probably going to do. I have been wanting to rewatch the episode so that um, stuff is fresh in my mind, but that's going to take forever. So some of these videos are going to be very short um, just because I don't really have time to rewatch those episodes because I do want to do reviews on a Netflix series that I really like. I know other people probably haven't reviewed it, but the name of the series is called Life After Death with Tyler Henry. I also, there's um also a Hulu series that I want to do um, re reviews on. It's about this um young girl who is trained, well, young man or let me bring it back. It's about a trans girl. And it's really been teaching me a lot about um, the mental space that they're in when it comes to being in school and going through the trans journey. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into the review. The episode starts off where it left off with um, the girls eating dinner and them having a conversation with Jasmine and about how she was in rehearsals and that type of stuff. And it really seems like Jasmine is digging a deeper hole for herself because she'll start taking some, like a very small portion of accountability, then quickly turn around and deflect it and throw it back on somebody else. And she, she got a lot of growing up to do. She says she's a mother and she runs a um, dance studio. She, mama got a lot of growing up to do. She really does because you you have to take accountability for your actions. And that's going to come up again and at the end of the video or at the end of the season three portion of the video. And um, y'all will find out why. So um, the ladies, they are told that um, 
they're going to meet with central coach Rashida Conbay. And the girls are really excited about it because um, what the central coach does is kind of pull that sexy out of you. And Lizzo tells them that um, you're going to need that to be be a big girl and be on stage because she said some of her songs are up-tempo, hip-hop, and it's, it doesn't really require you to be sensual or sexy. But then you have her slower songs that do require that energy. And while talking to the girl, she introduced them to her new song, Rumors, which... Um, came out i want to say in 2021 it might have been 2020 but um i want to say 2021 and while lizzo is talking to the girls about her song rumors she um said she got a lot of love for the song but she also did get some hate and she, you know, tells the girls that it's hard to love yourself in a world that doesn't love you back and that hit me in my chest a little bit. And I was like, dang, like the society that we live in makes bigger people, especially bigger women, feel like they're unworthy of being loved, feel like they're supposed to be uncomfortable with their body and feel like you don't deserve to be with an attractive man or you don't deserve this or you don't deserve that. And everybody deserves to be loved. Everybody. Um, Looking at my notes. The movement class, it was beautiful. It gave the ladies a way to release some of like their insecurities, some, um, things dealing with past traumas and some hurt and um ariana shares that her grandma um died from covid and that was something that she just she said she did not when things would hit her during the year she just would not breathe she would just keep it moving and in the exercise that was the very first time that she was actually able to exhale to breathe to to feel some of that pain and to release it because like she said she just kept moving kept going she didn't let herself feel she said she just was numb to everything going on in her life throughout the year because she just kept getting hit with stuff back to back to back to back isabel uh, starts to talk about her being uncomfortable with sexualizing her body and um, Isabel talks about being bullied on the internet because of her weight. And that was um, one of the reasons why I was so afraid or um, timid when it came to do doing a YouTube channel, because I know how cruel people can be. And I didn't know if I could handle the judgment of what people would say, because I do know for other YouTubers that I do watch um, who aren't even my size, like Bondi Blue and Jamie That's Me and Niecy Dixon, they all get negative comments as well. And those are beautiful ladies. Don't get it twisted. Those are beautiful, beautiful, fine ladies. And they still get, you know, rude mean comments towards them and i'm like well if they get comments like that then shoot i don't stand a chance but uh we gonna keep it pushing the girls then after the um the sensual um the sensual class they then find out that their assignment for this episode is to create a music video and Lizzo wants to basically see if the girls can be professional if they can work on set when it comes to shooting a music video and the girls meet um Shantae introduces the girls to Naka who is Lizzo's director the music video challenge will be to 
um, Miss Yellow's song, Re We Run This. The first group gets the backyard pool area for a background or for their uh, video shoot area. And the first group is Ariana, Jasmine, Ashley, and Moesha. And eventually, after a day, they come up with the idea of doing a girls trip theme for the music video. And Ariana, with good reason, is skeptical about working with Jasmine. And I, I understand it because they've kind of like butt head, butted heads in the past. So I, I completely understand why Ariana was skeptical at first. The second group gets the glam room and they have a Barbie concept. And basically the Barbie concept is a different Barbie for a different type of girls. And that group is Asia, Charity, and Jayla. And then the third group, they get the gym. And their gym concept is to make the gym fun because they said that um, people think the gym is boring and all of that type of stuff. And yeah, the gym is boring, but um, there are fun ways to work out. My preference is water aerobics. I love it. Some people feel like it's for old people, but whatever. The girls start their process of working with Naka, and the first group are the dolls. And because they, they're running out of time, Naka tells Asia that she only has, like, one chance to get it right. And um, that makes Asia nervous, but uh, she she pretty much brings it. She has it together. Um, then we see the girls working together in the gym. They did use the stripper pole, but it wasn't how you would think. Um, the last group, um, Ariana, Jasmine, Moesha, and Ashley, I believe. Yes, they have the pool area and they do the girls trip. And y'all, I don't understand Jasmine. She 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 gave me a migraine because she starts before they when they're doing the the, the pool scene. She walks up to Naka and says, um, can you take off your director hat? Something like that to her for a moment. And she tells Naka that she thinks that she's attractive. And I'm like, unprofessional. Unprofessional. Like, sit down somewhere. Unprofessional. Like, why would you do that? It makes no sense. But, um... As they're going through the um through the different groups shooting the video, Charity opens up about being called names for being dark a darker skinned girl. And although I cannot relate to Charity, I can say that I have seen it growing up where um lighter skinned girls with the nice texture hair would get preference over brown skin or darker skin girls and even um in my adult life I've seen um where lighter skin women who have the small waist um big butts or the Instagram model type girls will get preference or get special treatment or get away with a whole hell of a lot more than a brown skin or a darker skin girl would get away with. After they shoot the videos, they meet with Lizzo in the backyard. And um, they watch the videos and Lizzo tells, um, Naka tells the girls uh, who did the girls trip video she tells them that they really didn't have a storyline for their video and that they can't just 
do dance in a music video and that be it. There has to be a storyline to the music video. It has to be a story. And then we see the um, group that had the gym, which was Sydney, Isabel, and I want to say Kiera. Yes, Sydney, Era, Isabel, and Kiera. And although they had a, the idea was great for the gym, it did not come across in the video. Then we see them watch the dolls video. Superb. Superb. Those girls, they had an idea and they executed it. You could tell what the story was by looking at the video. And um, there's a moment where Naka tells Asia that she's a star, that she brought it. She told Asia that she only had one take and Asia brought it. And Lizzo basically said Asia was a bad bitch on cue, period. And um, then after that, Lizzo gives out the awards. The person who gets the 100% that bitch award is Asia. Then she does the Juice Award. The Juice Award goes to the Dolls Crew. And what comes along with the 100, 100% that bitch award for Asia is um, an opportunity to be in one of Lizzo's music videos. Now, while they're congratulating the dolls in Asia and they're having a moment, Jasmine breaks down and starts to cry. And for the life of me, I'm like, what the hell? Like, girl, save your tears it like it doesn't make sense to me why she acts the way she acts it's it's ridiculous so ariana says jasmine waits for other people's moment to shine to then rain on their parade and she's absolutely right absolutely right all she did was try to take the attention away from the dolls and it and it makes no sense to me and Lizzo tells Jasmine, and the reason why she says she's crying is because she doesn't she didn't expect that moment when Lizzo told her she was unprofessional for flirting with Naka. And Lizzo tells Jasmine, your actions have consequences. And it's kind of it's kind of weird that you don't know that and you're a grown woman. It's ridiculous. Okay, so now we're going to move to episode four. So I'm going based off my notes. I didn't have a chance to rewatch the episode, but I'm just going to hit on what I have in my notes. So um, Lizzo shows up and introduces her friend, Alexis, who she went to school with, and they reminisce on the mean things people used to say to them because of their weight when they were in school. And um, I was a chubby kid in elementary school when from like maybe fourth through seventh grade, maybe. And I can relate to people calling me fat and um boys not liking me because oh she a fat girl and all of that stuff that negatively negatively affects girls because yeah dudes can boys can be fat or whatever the case may be but and they get made fun of but there's way more big men who have girlfriends and wives than bigger women and that's because for whatever reason it's okay for a man to be overweight but in this society it's not okay for a woman to be overweight in this episode i call this the naked episode 
And I call it the naked episode because um, it's the episode where Lizzo has, has them to do a naked photo shoot. And I feel like the first, the not the first episode, but episode three, them meeting with the sensual coach was a warm up to get to this next step. And um, what they do this episode is they're writing negative thoughts on a clear glass and then eventually at some point once they fight through those emotions they break through them and Lizzo says part of being a big girl is owning your beauty they also meet with a healing um movement coach uh, Deja Joel, this episode. After they do that class, they um go straight to doing the nude photo shoot. And Isabel is extremely nervous because of Asian culture. And in Asian culture, it's completely unacceptable to do like a nude photo shoot cut or even a picture in your bikini or swimsuit and post it on like Instagram or anything like that it's unacceptable and she she's nervous about it because if she doesn't dance as her career or doesn't get the opportunity to do that as a career she ultimately wanted to teach in Korea and she, she's nervous because if it ever pops up, she knows that if she goes to an interview or tries to get a job in Korea, that it's a strong possibility that she won't get that job because of the photo or whatever they find. Then we learn that Ariana has body dysmorphia. And um, I love the way Moesha was there for Ariana when she was struggling with the new photo shoot. And I was sitting there and I was looking and I was like, okay, that, that's a sister. That's what, what Lizzo is looking for in a big girl. For somebody to be there, for you to be there for your sister, for you to be there to be encouraging. And, that, and it's basically just like... Lizzo wants her big girls to be like sorority sisters. And in my sorority, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, you are your sister's keeper. And you you encourage your sister when she's down. If she needs something, if you got it, you give it. You have your sister's back regardless. And that's exactly what Lizzo is looking for in a big girl. And I feel like a lot of the girls have that trait that Lizzo wants. So, like I told y'all, this is going to be a quick video. Because I did not get to rewatch the episode. Because it's, it's just too time consuming. So, we're going to move to the awards. The person who gets the Juice Award this episode is Ashley. The person who gets the 100% That Bitch Award this episode is Sydney. And the winner of the 100% That Bitch Award gets a photo shoot with Lizzo. And that's all I got, y'all. Um, I'm going to try to do um, another video today. I think I have time to do five and six today but i know for a fact i wanted to watch rewatch um the last episode episode because a lot was going on in that last episode and i wanted to add it to my notes um 
I also wanted to rewatch the one about the the girls being their their own um persona. So whichever one that is, I'll go ahead and rewatch that one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.